It's Tuesday's podcast on a Thursday. Thursday. Why, Corey, are we running behind the schedule? Because gas prices are high and Corey didn't want to drive here twice. Guys, this brand new car takes premium. <laughs> the Blueberry <laughs> needs high octane gasoline to get places. So I said, I have to come here because we have class on Saturday. So let's just do icing prep and podcast prep (laughs) on thursday (laughs) great okay so if you're hearing this on thursday you are not confused no on days on days like on weeks where we have so much work to do i'm just like i'll just put i this is what i have to tell myself mentally i'll just put one foot in front of the other till the day i die i mean till i'm done (laughs) (laughs) okay so welcome to the baking it down podcast with sugar cookie marketing i've actually started parsing these out and uploading them to youtube so if you wanted to find a specific question or answer, uh, minutes, marketing minutes or baking it down, you can go to YouTube. Should be sugar cookie marketing. Because some people are like, Corey, do you remember what episode you talked about something super specific? Corey doesn't remember what she did this morning. (laughs) (laughs) I just put one foot in front of the other. (laughs) Yeah, I know. uh, I mean, it'll just take a long time. We have 52 of these. We keep adding more. If we do it on my schedule, we'll have less. (laughs) Oh, uh, if somebody has just found the podcast, what are they in for? Welcome. You are listening to something that I wanted to create because when I'm baking, I love listening to podcasts. You can't always scroll through the group. You can't, you know, dive into it. keeps acting up. It's going to be a murder podcast. You guys will love it. <laughs> I did find uh, closed case files, I think it was. You wouldn't recommend. They're coming because people are already listening to podcasts now. Right. If they're Which listening one? to us right now, they're listening to a podcast. Yes. Which so one? I like true crime podcast, but I had already finished with true crime junkie. I'm caught up, so I have to wait every Sunday. And then uh, true crime all the time. I am caught up, unfortunately. But then I found Cold Case Files, which is actually a show on A&E, me and you watched yeah. for years and years, and they've turned it into a podcast yeah. of the most popular episodes. Yeah. So it's been out since 2017, so I got a long road ahead of me. Can't you wait that, to be done with you it get your murder week. references here first, <laughs> all night. So if you are tuning in, this is something that I like to do because I like listening to podcasts. So I said, let's give people. They're going to say you like listening to yourself talk. I like listening to myself talk. <laughs> so I said, let's that. let other people enjoy it too. <laughs> <laughs> but it's a little bit of baking business, a little bit of marketing business, um, what the group's been up to. But you can you can grow your business while you're working There's a lot of business. in your business. <laughs> We're in your business. <laughs> So you can be in our business. <laughs> okay, so we're we're running in on a shorter timeline here because actually I'm hosting a Facebook Live tonight, which today is uh, March 10th, 2022. I've noticed it's very confusing as I'm going yeah. back through these because we keep referencing current events, but it was it's no longer current. Uh, so hey, future Heather, when you're editing this, hi, <laughs> it's me. Good hey, job. <laughs> Way to go. Sorry that I didn't number any of these. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, we wanted to talk about in the marketing minutes just that Facebook auditing. Okay, auditing sounds like a very Wait, April fifteenth. Hold, hold on, hold on, kid. If you if you are listening to this in the next one hour, <laughs> we're doing a live tonight on this very subject. <laughs> this, is, uh, this is currently four forty nine. <laughs> By the time we get uploaded, it will be five forty nine. At seven, we're just doing. I told people if you want to. Um, put your page in the firing line. We'll just pull it up in a Facebook Live. Nobody has to be involved, just their page, and we'll yeah. go through an audit. So when people hear the word audit, it, it sounds, sounds like April horrendous. 15th. <laughs> right. It sounds like you forgot to expense your Mercedes <laughs> G-Wagon from TikTok, and now the IRS is knocking. But audits are actually a pretty um, – they're, exp- they're they're good. We do it with every client like that's <laughs> <they eat. laughs> we do it with every incoming client. It's we audit. the benchmark of where we start to yes. tell them where we're going to go, and then you have to continue to audit. This is Heather's favorite, favorite, favorite line, line when we're talking to a client. Hey, once you like she just sick. Why? Wait, what are you going to? What are you going to say? Heather always says this because she doesn't want to tell someone like you're horrible. So she'll be like, hey. I'd rather find something that we can work on than find something perfect that we can't work on. <laughs> Give me a minute. <laughs> hey, yeah. If somebody's Do hiring you remember me, saying that? Wait. I have so many great one-liners <laughs> during these phone calls that they all start to run together. <laughs> My favorite one is tell me exactly who your target audience individual is. Don't tell me a range. And they're like, somebody between the ages of. I was like, they can never handle. Someone's by my car. <gasps> Let me breath my little lot. <laughs> <laughs> They're probably just trying to get some fuel. <laughs> okay, so 
audits are pretty good. They're benchmarks. And here's the thing. Social media and websites. I um I actually audited our cookie classes website. No. It was not good. There was no text on it. I had to re-update Wait, it. Wait, I thought we did. It's a rendering issue. So things break all the time as Shit. websites change. Who is our update. web host person? I uh, will fire her. <laughs> <laughs> Heather, are you coming after this podcast? <laughs> I mean, have a nice word. long sit down. You and me, Heather and Heather. <gasps> But I, ha- I wouldn't have known that if I hadn't done an audit. And mm-hmm. I kind of run these audits. Should have, I've done it sooner. <laughs> Sometimes I find them for you. When I say. Right. And okay. audits are great. So it's almost, I would recommend auditing your social profiles quarterly. So you're going to do it four times a year. And you're just going to sit down and say, has anything changed? Can I do anything better? Yeah. And then an audit also involves, which I'm going to talk about in the live tonight, looking at what your competitors are doing and saying, is that working better? And should I do it too? Not stealing. You don't have to recreate the wheel. You, know how, you just have to do what the next guy's doing just a little bit better. A little bit, a little bit better. Nobody create a competitor of us and do it just a little bit better, please. <laughs> I'll never find you. I've never checked. <laughs> but in this Facebook audit, Corey, like, what are we looking for? We are looking for ways. Losers. <laughs> the worst. <laughs> We're looking for ways that you can you can fix it tonight and benefit from it tomorrow. So easy fixes, Some easy optimization. Right. Why yeah. would I even care? Why would you care? It's you don't care. But in the grand scheme of things, if everything is optimized, if we optimize everything, and this is a quote from Atomic Habits, if everything is optimized by one percent, but everything gets optimized by one percent and over the whole course that might be a twenty percent increase in optimization. Which 20%, 1% is nothing. I feel like you have a lot of emotion there for quoting a book. I feel like because, you have Because uh, he says that a lot of people will say, well, I, I want to get better. But it's, 1% is nothing. But he said 1% across everything actually adds up to be oh. quite a hefty change. So if I point at somebody today and I'll be like, hey, your handle and your page name don't match. Mm. They'll be like, well, that's that's just not that's not a big deal. Hey, it's not but sugar cookie marketing underscore. <laughs> <laughs> nah, yeah, you tagged, you tagged the wrong Instagram fl- handle the other day. I fixed it, but yeah. the other other day it was correct. I clicked it. <laughs> <laughs> so, give me more of the things that you're looking for in an audit when you run these for clients. When I'm running it for clients, I want to see what are they currently doing, and then I'm going to tell them the suggestions that we're going to do that are going to change it. So if they have – some people are so married to their strategy Mm -hmm. that sometimes we want to come from an understanding, like what's your thought process behind posting this each week, Um, to see where they are. And then we can say, okay, I see where your mind's at. Let's take that, tweak it a little bit, um, add a call to action, um, line spacing, line breaking, some emojis to add some interest, Mm -hmm. a good photo, things like that, to really optimize it for our end user. Because we are all end users to somebody. Right. Um, And we're going to want to optimize it towards your target audience, which everyone has a different target. So what I recommend for this person may not be the perfect solution for you. You're going to know your audience more. If you don't know your audience, though, that's going to be your first base level uh, line of optimization is understanding exactly who your page is trying to talk to. If your page is talking to everybody, it's actually talking to nobody. We can't communicate directly with everyone. Mm -hmm. You can't be everything to everyone. Otherwise, you're nothing. It was Mm -hmm. confusing. You guys can re-listen to that one. (laughs) Uh, So (laughs) when we come in, we kind of try to find out what the client wants and then marry it with what's working in their industry. Mm -hmm. Because a hot sauce guy and beekeeping and remodeling they're going to have a lot of differences Mm -hmm. Um, and one of them is going to be wildly different than the other one but we need to make sure that within that industry how close are we to the guy who's the best at it right now so of course (laughs) and i'll say that it's easy to fall off the wagon of a facebook audit even like look at us like it's hard to keep up with this stuff but the thing is just keep at it just keep trying coming back put it in your asana Hey, come back quarterly. It's your quarterly audit date. And mm-hmm. just set aside. You know, it doesn't have to take 20 hours. It could be just an hour to say, here's what I'm doing. Here's what I can do better. And a lot of it is consistency. Are you posting consistently? Yeah. Are you adding a call to action? Is it clear how I place an order? Yeah. Are you changing? A lot of times people will put their calendar, their booked calendar, and they'll pin that to the top. It's not visible on mobile. Then they'll forget about it. Because it's visible only on desktop. And if you're only working from a mobile device... You're I not can see realize. it on mobile, but when you're on the page itself, you can't see right. that it's pinned. But your end user, when they oh, yeah, visit your page, can confusing. see That's it. That's a little shyst. For it is. Mr. Mr. I saw one the other day, and I was just clicking. I don't remember what industry. 2015. Here's a crazy thing. I 2015. Was a service industry, like a service provider, yeah. and their pin post, I didn't see that was pinned because it's kind of faded mm-hmm. out. But I was like, oh, they haven't made a post since 2020. 
Th- that's why I said the down. 20 they had both. 15. Yeah, they had posted. I just their pin yeah. posts through me as like, oh, they haven't been. Why and it was, what's down? crazy is like we're like pin posts. We're so in the industry. Not everyone has their own Facebook page to know what a pin post means. Mm-hmm. So we call it above the fold content. If someone doesn't have to scroll, what can they see? Just um, by clicking, just once. by clicking once, and if it's your pin post from 2015, they're going to think they you might think, "Wow, this page is dead. They Absolutely. haven't been here since 2015." Another big audit, and while I'll pull in tonight, is are you replying to every comment? And is it more than just thanks? Is it is it some meaty replies, some yes. some meat, you know, chunky replies with words and questions and engagement? Granted, I get it. If somebody only gives you three emojis, it's kind of hard to yes. <laughs> Or if somebody gives you three emojis, a great way to reply is like, oh, Sarah, thanks so much. Hey, how did you like that order? Mm. You can force them into it. Strong arm. How are the kids doing? How are the kids? Sarah. the mother-in-law. Clearly, you have the emojis unlocked. <laughs> <laughs> you fire memes a match. Uh, if your competitors are posting memes and they're landing. Content buckets. You know that's Heather's favorite word. Content buckets because it really clears the air for the confusion of what should I post. There. I just started my own initiative on my own page, Meme Mondays. Oh, great. Yeah, because I gave you my memes and I used Yeah, I said, oh, crap. I got a ton of work. Did you say the C word? Oh, the cannoli. Podcast. There you go. We, we are, are a PG rated podcast. PG? I thought we were G. Well, you just done made a PG. <laughs> <laughs> I think he would be cursing up a storm. Where Good. is the ball on the floor? It's um, a yarn ball? It's no, it's, it's a, a lint ball. No, yeah, sorry, stop talking. I'm trying to think of the word. It is a, I don't want to say weed ball. With <gasps> a catnip ball. Okay, but the brand was called Meowana. <laughs> Meowana. Okay, he hates it. <laughs> I just have it. paid five dollars for it. So I Should I take it home to put them? Yeah, can you? Okay, <laughs> maybe I like it. Meow. Meowana. <laughs> okay, so good now. That is kind of a Facebook audits, and it's just kind of. Looking at your business social profiles mm-hmm. from an outside lens in a great way, a great way to audit your page is make somebody else do it. Make a husband, make a wife, mother, sister, say, order from me. Yeah. And watch what they do. Just don't even say, well, d- well scroll up. No, if they're yeah. scrolling down, yeah. that's what they find intuitive. And if your information isn't where they're scrolling, um, T. Rizzy Chat. Uh-huh. He had said, Tristan. <laughs> Tristan. He had said, Hey, I noticed on when he wanted to upgrade, he's in the monthly, but wanted to become a yearly cookie college yeah. member. And he had said, How am I going to do that? Instead, he said, I noticed that in your reply to just me, you actually included every step anyone would need to take to do it. Started. it. And I said, Thanks for noticing. Thanks for Thank noticing. Thank you for noticing. And then he upgraded. So if I had said, Well, you know, blah, and he has to go investigate further, I'm going to lose him because he has a lot going on, anyways. Yeah, a lot in his life going on, and then you're going to make him do homework. No, yeah. man. So if a sister comes to your Facebook page and you said, order for me, and they go to write you a message and you tell them, oh, no, you have to email me. Can't you see that? Mm-hmm. No, they couldn't see that. They didn't look at it. And that's my feet. We are teaching a what podcast. What is she doing? She's wiping know. it clean. <laughs> the cat just lives a life. And Heather shaved the cat and it looks bonkers okay. right now. One, I'm not a professional cat groomer. But and you got two, s- it shows. <laughs> It's so like a close shave. Yeah, I didn't realize it needed. Now you make me sound like a cat abuser. I she just had it on a meow cool. on it. <laughs> and there's a whole thing of treats in there. Beamsters went on an adventure day. Okay, wait, he's okay, all right, all right. And I'm look, feeling like I have to leaving. open the door for her in a second. Head out. No, she's, she's going, going to the meow on it all. <laughs> <laughs> um, Another thing. Okay, so that wraps up the marketing minutes. So if you guys want to do that on your own, I recommend it. The Facebook Live, I'll leave it in the group. If you miss it, go and check it out. But it's really just a simple overview of, it, am I doing this the best way possible? Mm-hmm. If I can't be the best, can I do what I'm doing just a little bit better? Can I optimize it? Can I make it a little bit easier for my audience to understand? And if you are just tuning in, Heather actually did an audit of my page so rudely a couple months ago. Oh, yeah, on the And podcast. she rippled it apart. Hey, I tell people, like, you want to you want to you have to elect your own page and people are like i volunteer let's just tribute. do a mini one okay but go easy on me oh on yours yeah okay mm-hmm. okay we just want to show you like what we would take a client through if we do it and heather's going to do it tonight on the live but if you have better things to do like baking or stuff oh, i don't have my audit right checklist here. pulled up but i'm gonna start so heather's actually doing it and this is what you have to remember she's doing it on desktop right now but there's two versions that you need to audit you need to audit the desktop version and great the point. mobile version 
90% of people are accessing your page on mobile. So that's really, really what you want to cater to when you are doing this audit. Um, but desktop gives us um, a really easy where we can see everything, but not mm. everything shows up on desktop. True, true. Okay. I'm, I'm just, I've only just searched your page. <gasps> Your information, the preview, uh -huh. it says thick buttery and cake like each cookie is hand decorated with royal icing and artistic details for a stunning presentation. Choose your cookie shape, choose your icing colors, and yeah, buddy. Thick and buttery. Are you saying anything to me there? Thick and buttery. What I would want to know the same way you do on Instagram, you're Nova Baker. True. You want you have a party. I'm gonna make it. Different. Editing it now. No, no, no. I'm gonna have to pull up. <laughs> okay, so we got a cute logo that stands out. The crumbed cookies. You have Heather your made scent. that logo first off. An amazing logo right there. Just really. I'm honestly, rebranding. Your category set correctly as a bakery. You have uh, a five star rating and you have a one point four thousand likes. Yes. A lot of proportion. I think there's a lot of cookie people. Yeah. When when Heather okay. did this thing. Okay. We got 500 people of you guys. So if you come to my page, you better, better engage. engage. <laughs> <laughs> you come to our page, you better engage. Okay. Well, unfortunately, I'm an admin of your page. Here, you want to see it on mobile? Because my fake account is not an admin. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to start right here. The cover photo is here you go. of Here you go. Bunnies. Here you go. Okay. Cover photo is extremely bright and eye-catching for Easter Very. man. Bright and eye catching, and it is Easter themed. So we're up on the holidays. Um, you have those three badges that are a new feature. Again, one of those things. Not on desktop, only on mobile. Not on desktop, only on mobile. Great point. I'm missing one though. Because you're not an active responder. I'm not fast at responding. Right, but I so also don't want my, my clients to think I'm going right. to give them an answer. Right, so. right at the top, I see your button is configured for send email. Yes. Ideally, that's what you want them to send email. And the first link I see is your order form. Yeah, going to love that one. Scrolling down here, uh, your ta you have your category correctly set as a bakery, but could you have two additional categories? You can. One will be the primary one. It, do you have them set here? It's set on desktop. Let me see what your other ones are. Your category is set as just a bakery. Hold on, hold on. Okay, well, this, this is why on. we audit. Hold kids. on. You only have two sets. Hold on. Cookie. Hold on. Hold on. You could be cooking school, bakery, cupcake shop, kitchen cooking. Hold on. Maybe I only made one. Yeah, I did. That's probably. Can I do cooking <laughs> classes, cookie classes? That's not a. Not okay, a you do not have a location set. But you actually can set that and set it as a service area. I no, I did put it as oh there. I did. But you do have an address set there, but it says I don't know why it's not showing up. I do have it. Okay, moving right along. We were, we got an F so far. Okay, <laughs> okay I added dessert shop. What's another one? Okay, what else do you recommend for people? Um, can I do macaron? Mm. So she has her, and I like this one, and I feel like a lot of people. If you can manage this, do it. Uh, the Instagram handle is linked in the about section, which Facebook is Instagram. Mm -hmm. And they ha she has them correctly connected here, and they match each other. So the crumbed cookies. Um, here's another big one. Corey's page handle on Facebook, not visible on mobile again, but that's why it's important to look at both of them. The um, desktop one is at the crumbed cookies, and her Instagram handle is the crumbed cookies. They all match. That would be the goal. Now, if somebody else has your handle, you're going to have to think creatively. Yeah. Um, right off the bat, so when you're on mobile, you can see that her additional information section, it looks like the about section on mobile. On desktop, it is called the additional information yeah. section. Um, it says, note, I'm taking off this month to prepare for a move, which I know is not till four months. I'm preparing so now. <laughs> <laughs> so, and she has it extremely bright red stop signs. Yeah. So the emojis automatically get my attention there. If you are actively taking orders, you'd be your order form. Now, or your when people email me, they say, I see that you're not taking orders. Can you take mine? Right. Great. Hey, you screen them. <laughs> if you're not wanting to take orders, then she has this in your about section on desktop. It's the one that has a thick buttery and cake like each cookie is made. Now, there's a lot of truncation here. Um, there's not truncation on oh. mobile, but on desktop, there is a, a lot. Choose your cookie shape. Choose your icing colors, and we'll take care of baking them to perfection. I would say that your about section is fluff. It is a lot of fluff. Just oh, like change my, that. Just too. like my cookie. <laughs> They're nice and plummet. <laughs> yeah, thick butter and cake like. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, as we come down, uh, Impressum, I think, is something that's actually for different countries. Uh, you do not have a privacy pod. Uh, you do? Edit? No, I don't. It says edit. It. No way. 
You do not. It would have to be hosted yeah. on a website. It says I don't have my hours listed, but I sure do. You sure do. Sure do, man. Okay, they said menu. I don't think you should be adding a menu because I think that's going to change kind of how your page is looked at, which it just did. It's trying to get me to add. No, go away. Go away. Okay, going back, back to the about section on mobile. Everything looks good and fine. I ended up taking my phone number off because I was getting too many phone calls. Which you could use cool fire. But I want them to send me an email. So I said, I'm going to take that nine. You don't have your hours set on either. No, but when I go there, it is It's there. Up. Why isn't it showing? I don't know. Facebook is always changing. That's why it's good to audit these things. You have your price range set as high. Yeah, man. Which I think people should know. That will help from people getting bun hurt. And then we're going to just move along your tab. So on your events tab is still displayed, but you don't have any events. Gosh darn it. Gosh darn it. <laughs> so possibly it would be effective to, if she hides her events tab, it's going to move another tab that it might is. have more information. It towards Doing it right now. When I go to your reviews tab, you got a five out of five. Again, recommendations and reviews are still in that transitional period. It will be recommendations completely. The most recent recommendation is not recent. I don't ask for a ton of reviews. We need to ask for those. That is a part of the audit. <laughs> is it replied to? It is replied to. All of them are replied Corey, to. It says, I replied to her. Oh, this must be when you were banned and you were being uh, me. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> uh, she said, thank you so much for writing such a kind recommendation. Uh, and then the client wrote back as well. And the client also posted photos. Moving along, every review is replied to. Okay, that's great. You even got lucky enough for some people to post photos. Okay, we're going to go back. Now, here's some things I can see when I do these audits, but I definitely recommend people to check. I'm going to check on her admins. Who is adminning this page? Now, Corey has a business manager. You have a fake profile with two, a small C and a small M. Corey Miracle? That sounds like a liability. <laughs> I don't know where that person is. <laughs> I would probably audit that person and remove them if you don't know who holds that account. Um, and then she has our work business manager and then my boyfriend, because you got banned from your own page. So we had to have him help, but I'd probably boot him too. <gasps> Boodling him. Okay. Going here. We have a pin post. I like that. The pin post was over a month old. Okay. I told you, do not harp on that. Did you ask me to I said, don't harp on it. <laughs> so why, Corey, would we not want that necessarily to be a month old? Okay, you don't want it to be a month old because if someone it's is... the first post you see. It's the first post you see. So if someone's clicking to the page, they don't know what pin post means. They don't want to look like I've abandoned the page for a whole month. So either don't do a pin post or update always update it. Post. Sorry, we're doing laps. Okay, as we're running down this, I have... It's an intro post. Welcome to the... Crumbed cookies note, I'm taking off um, this month for a move. And in this pin post, she has all the information you'd need to place an order. Um, she even sets the expectation. I do work full time to it, but I do my best to take as many orders as I can. Um, and I want to make your event the sweetest one yet. Also, sign up for classes, sugarcookieclasses.com. Cross Very nice. The imagery for your pin post is very nice. The it is one Valentine's problem Day I will say <laughs> is it is a macaron. It's but it was run. bright, so that's why I went with it. Okay, but that gets your attention. Now, your most recent post was made nine hours ago. Love it. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> and it's asking a question. What is your favorite cereal? But all the little... Did you give this one to the cookie college or no? Well, ah, no. Well, this post that Corey's got pinned up here, second from pinned, <laughs> is going to be free for cookie <laughs> college kids, which we're doing at three free in March. Three, more than that later. Yeah, yeah more than that later. Okay, so you have a nice emoji. I must know, what is your favorite? Is, is that even a word, cereal? Got it. I'm being relatable, man. Relatable. You have a top fan badge. You've enabled badges for um It Pedro. made it enabled, but yeah, it is. It's not a bad way to incentivize people. Yeah. You can disable those. Yeah, and you can make posts just for your, um, what did you just call them? Someone's by my car. <laughs> Corey, <you're> just <laughs> Kids are flying. <laughs> They're literally Corey, surrounding focus. it. Just look real quick. Who <laughs> is like they're playing a game with us? Like it's a part of kickball. <laughs> <laughs> Your turn to catch. <laughs> Hit the blue guard. You win. <laughs> okay, focus. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> okay, I really like this. Um, my cereal list isn't lengthy, but whose isn't? And you answer your own question now. You have comments, which I'm sure are cookie people. No. 12, every single comment Jessica is replied Jessica is my to. number one client. <laughs> yeah, she's your top fan as well. <laughs> then you celebrate uh, International Women's Day. Love it. That was on March 8th. A very striking, high-quality image. 
Um, your page was created March 6th. The problem I will say with myself is I do not do a ton of videos and reels. You don't. At all. Videos are, one, obviously reels. We're in a heyday. Yeah. But videos also are a certain type of content that does pretty okay on uh, Facebook. The one thing that I annoys me about Your last videos, video was Halloween. Yeah. Uh, the one thing that annoys me about videos. The caption is, be a hollow queen. <laughs> Yeah, buddy. <laughs> the one thing that annoys me about videos on Facebook is you can see the view count. So if it's two, those are both me. <laughs> I would just be putting that bad boy in replay or boost it if you want. You would have to boost it to maybe. Who cares? I ain't I'm just caring. saying. I'm just saying. Okay, then you have on March eighth. That was only two days ago. A whole free St. Patrick's Day chocolate chip cookie recipe for your followers. Because that Love is it. my. My Heather said content buckets. So this is my grandmother's recipe. I'm not, I don't even sell it. So it's nothing on me to create this and give it away. And that's what I do. So I say, hey, you're, you, you missed my sale. Sign up here. But here's a little cookie for you to make. Right, right. I really like it. She gives you everything, the directions, how to get the special uh, taco chips that are green. Scrolling down, we got me. Uh, from this Monday onwards, I'm declaring it me Monday, at least on this page, to try to find an emoji of putting a flag on the moon, but the closest I get was this flag on the greens. Still works. Like that. We got content buckets. Okay, cool. I really like it. And then after that, it's all pretty themed to St. Patrick's Day and Mardi Gras. Mm -hmm. Um, and then some jokes and some cute stuff. Okay. How do you feel that you did in this very preliminary audit? <laughs> I, I did good. I will have to go in and edit my about you section. You give yourself an A, B, C, or D. I'll give myself an A. Honestly. <laughs> 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 you did a lot of direct reading that, Mike. <laughs> Mike got nothing on y'all. <laughs> okay. So, hey, so, audits are great. They're not a bad thing. They're a way to see what's working, what isn't, and to make minor changes to keep on the right path. But boy, does it get you to sweat when someone's out of mm. your <laughs> Someone's like, I haven't both in a while, but... Uh, <laughs> we will be I'll choosing, be choosing you. <laughs> uh, and I'm just going to try to see I, how many I can run through in about 30 minutes. Yeah, I think it'll be fun. Yeah. Cannot wait to watch on my way home in traffic. <laughs> <laughs> End of the very that is going here by <laughs> With a the on the side. <laughs> uh, so for the business of baking, what I wanted to cover is this thought that I've had recently in that everything in your business, whether it's feeling like it's successful or not, is a result of something you did or did not do in the past. Mm -hmm. And that also gives you the power to say what your business will be like in a year from now will be a result of what you are or are not doing today. <sighs> And it's, it's a, hard it's a painful one, but it's also a powerful one because that means you have control. And I see a lot of people saying, it's just not working, but then I go to audit their page and we haven't done anything. Yeah. But it's, I can't make any sales. We haven't, you haven't implemented any of the things. There's 103 Facebook Lives. Can I, <laughs> there was this funny meme that you oh said. I'm trying to have no, a No, no, this, this is a funny meme. Hey. It was a funny meme, but it's this toy toy train, but he's pulling an oh, actual giant train, and it says, my one little post, and it's like pulling all of Easter. It's perfect. It like it. That's hilarious. Did I make that, or did you make that? I think you did. <laughs> hilarious. I gave Corey all my memes, and she's been posting them to Instagram. Follow us on Instagram, at Trigger Cookie Marketing, underscore. underscore. <laughs> the bane of our existence uh yeah okay so anything that you're feeling right now uh -huh. is a result of something that you didn't do if you're if you're saying i can't make any sales right now what were you doing four weeks ago what were you doing eight weeks ago what were you doing during the christmas break because whatever you did there has set up this for right now because i can post 30 times today, and it's not going to undo the doing that's not been done for yeah. the last three months. A lot of people took January off because Christmas was such a big spending holiday. Mm -hmm. So a lot of people made a lot of sales, and they were like, I'm going to recoup in January. Awesome. But with that recoup, you also stopped marketing as well because you were recouping. You weren't making new content, anything like that. Then Valentine's Day comes. I saw somebody, be, oh, yeah, I'm not making my sales. Where are they? But then we look at their page. Hadn't made one post. You you ghosted them. Yeah, you haven't. We talk about reels all the time. There's no reels. We said that it's almost a license for free reach. You haven't done it. You haven't done it either. Hey. <laughs> it's because I, mean, I made one the other day. I didn't you, even tell you about it. Just post it, man. I did, man. Go ahead, Got man. like 23 just minutes. Man. <laughs> okay. And <I> you're retired. <laughs> um, but what are you not doing today? 
If you if you're not doing it today, you can't pl- complain about it tomorrow. Absolutely. I'm not trying to figure out a better a better facing camera angle for my reels. Yeah. So I'm not doing it today. Guess what? I will not have a reel tomorrow. No. I Absolutely will still be not. thinking I need to really find a better way to angle that camera right. so my hand doesn't so <laughs> if Corey wants the better reel tomorrow unfortunately she's got to pay up front today now ashley told me not to tell you that she sent me this new life lesson but the theory now that i've heard about it is blowing my mind she told you did not tell me she said she doesn't want to be the culprit of my next obsession of optimization oh, and that you get told yeah, but you, you guys all get told <laughs> <laughs> everything has two prices the price you pay when you buy it and the price you have to pay when you learn it. But we often only pay the first price. Yeah. So when I look at the cookie college, $68 a month, it's not chump change. Mm-mm. It's a pretty nice dinner mm-hmm. out for two people. But when you buy it, that's the first half. The second price is taking the Absolutely. classes. Absolutely. I bought the big blueberry car outside, right? Mm-hmm. It might- Big old first price. Big first price. <laughs> But there's a lot of bells and whistles and little words in there. I don't know what they mean. Second price. So I brought in my little owner annual, <laughs> and I cracked it open. Only went four pages deep. Got to the seatbelt part. <laughs> but there's Buckle a lot of learning to do. And I said, wow. I said, I have a new to-do list if I really want to get the most out of this car. Yeah. Otherwise, it will just prices. be four wheels and a steering wheel. Which you had before. Right. So to go through your life, great examples of second prices we often don't pay is one, taking a class you paid for, whether it be the cookie college or a decorating class you paid for online mm-hmm. and you just haven't gotten around to it, you're not paying the second price. Cookie cutters, man. I will buy a cookie You buy cutter, a cookie, you don't use it, you don't pay the second price. <laughs> yeah. Um, another one is buying an expensive camera and not learning how to use it. Mm-hmm. That's the second price. You paid the big first price. But you never pay the second price, but you always have to pay both prices if you want to get the utility out of it. feeling very attacked right now. Everyone does. And I looked around and I said, I have so many second price bills due and I'm not paying. Uh-uh. So it's easy I'm, to pay the first one. Maybe. The first one's the funnest one. Yeah. The second one's the worst. That one's like the price plus interest. Yeah. I had to train myself. And I've myself. lost my interest that <laughs> I had to train myself. I said, Corey, you got to stop buying cutters because unless you do the, the work, there's so much work behind a fun cutter. It takes two seconds to buy it. Yeah, man. But it takes a lot of time to use it. So what are you purchasing in your life that you're saying, I'm buying this, but I'm not sure I'm going to pay that second price? Did you join Sugar Cookie Marketing? Yes. The community is awesome. But are you digging in there to things that are working, to things that are not working for other people's businesses? Or are you just just jumping on the fun post of customer bashing? Yeah, you all are. I have to delete it all. <laughs> but here's the thing. If you're not paying second prices, you're not going to be able to benefit from your first prices. So let's name some things right now that common in bakers as far as first and second prices. I think you guys listening to this podcast right now, second price. There's a lot better podcasts that are far more interesting. Rude. Hey, you know what? Feed no, you like stay it. right. You have good listening. Second price, here. <laughs> You stay right here and pay this price. <laughs> I think camera. I'm going to think more of technically. You think of bigger things. Okay. Well, let's say a lot of people buy an Eddie and never open it. A lot of you. And yeah. I'm going to have a little amazing. Me too, man. Do you do buy a 3D printer and you're still sitting here in the box? You paid the first price, but you didn't pay the second price. The second price is sitting on YouTube. takes about an hour. I did it with this Ender 3 Pro. Yeah. Not the best printer, but it was the cheapest. And it was very dirty. <laughs> <laughs> and I put it together. And then it took a little bit of a learning curve. Again, the second price has to be paid. And now I can print as many cutters as Corey's not going to use. So yes. who's the idiot? No, <laughs> Me. <laughs> um, getting it. A new airbrush system. It's mm. fun to get them. It's fun to get the colors. Um, but are you learning it or are you getting under spray and just talking about being, Grex over here? Huh? You're talking about Grex? Girl, Grex wanted to spray them off. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta take its classes. Aye. Second prices. Second prices. Second getting prices. a new camera. Uh, getting backdrops and not using them because you find them oh, hard to use. Yeah. Lightroom. Yes, Lightroom. Downloading the app, first price when it's free. So it's yeah. a zero price. <laughs> and then you learning the app, second price. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. Um, what's another one for bakers? 
I'd say a lot of people bought the Bakery Bakes Meringue Powder but haven't gone around to using it. You pay the first price, time to pay the second price, time mm-hmm. to experiment with it, see how you see, like it. a lot of people will use it once, and it's not what they're used to, and they'll write it off. But you did not experiment with it. You did not follow her recipe. You did not try to tweak your recipe. You just said, doesn't work for me. I had to tell you, the biggest, worst price I ever had to pay, you couldn't, I got it up my butt one day that I wanted a manual transmission car. You could not no. have reasoned with no. me. Did I have any experience with manual transmission? No. Tra- zero. Zero clue how the whole thing worked. So I bought the car. I had, my parents were like, okay, that seems like a dumb idea. But my dad drove it home. He barely knew manual transmission cars. The fact that the car still had a clutch. I think, was, <laughs> so I brought it home. It took a month and a half of second price paying for it to finally click. A month and a half? Yeah. I'd actually join a forum and ask a bunch of strangers, and they told me, you're an idiot. And I said, okay, but I need help. I'm an idiot who's clueless. Yes. And they helped me through it. A lot of second price paying, but bringing it back down. Did you get? To, did you buy the Eddie, but you didn't schedule the class? Yeah. The I need to post that to the group. Don't let me forget the link to take the class. <laughs> right. So did you buy an Eddie and did you not take the class? Did you buy this airbrush and didn't? Did you buy those cutters and you didn't did make Did you the buy some class from a cookier that was going to teach you a new technique and you have not partaken in the class? Are you in the cookie college and not taking classes? Have you, you taken the lives in your cookie marketing Those are free. Yet? They take, they cost you time, mm-hmm. right? Um, I know we're like just going through I a little bit of I think we've repeated a bunch, but we're just driving it home. <laughs> <laughs> high fuel prices it's hard to drive them fast i have so many i bought pans for i was like props is a good one everyone loves the prop acquisition oh, process because it's a it's you get a, this all-time high now i force myself if you bring this home it must find its way into the photo it can be the background it can be the yeah. background I will be in there. Absolutely. Absolutely. Things that are in my life is a lot of software subscriptions. Yeah. Did mm-hmm. I buy, did you, uh, you guys know on the Cookie College I talk about Flowdesk, really nice email center. It's $20 a month. Am I sending out emails? Uh, my gym membership always gets me because I think if I don't go this month, I literally should have taken $40 and thrown it into you know the what? toilet. With my gym membership, I paid up front. So it's so easy. Mm. So people who buy these courses and these classes like for florals or thing and you, you pay up front. Lifetime membership things. Yeah, then you, 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 the cost is already gone, so you, it doesn't hurt as much. You know who was this one genius thing? I had, I had gotten, I paid for an up, upfront software subscription, mm-hmm. right? But as soon as I sign on, it says, you have 30 days to take this one class before we delete it. <gasps> and I was like, oh, my goodness. Wow. My second price is due up front yeah. almost. So 30 days to pay my second price. I feel the same about Netflix. Got to watch it on the way to the way. <laughs> okay. You're doing just fine. <laughs> you have paid both prices. <laughs> Netflix is still my lunch. <laughs> um, but yeah, look in your life, look in your business, and see what second prices have I not paid. Until you pay those second prices, you can't say it's not working. Um, like you see people, and like I just can't get photography. Did you buy the camera? Yeah, I bought this really nice camera. Well, what are your settings? Oh, it's in the box. <laughs> it's setting in the box. <laughs> Yeah. And I just think once you start seeing your life in terms of second and first prices, you'll realize, whoa, a lot of the fail points in my business are me not paying my second price. Mm-hmm. And just see second prices. It's so funny. I was on this health kick a year ago. I <laughs> changed. <laughs> was being the key word there. And it was this product called Huel. Huel. It is not And that's delicious. the sound you make when you... <laughs> <laughs> the concept of Hewlett, it was kind of, I purchased it because it was a budgeting move. Because the average price of a Huel meal, which is just a shake, it's you can completely survive healthy and not happy <laughs> off of a Huel meal every day if you had it for three meals. And, and it's, it's like, you know when you buy something and you really have to justify it by liking it? And it was like, yeah, I'm going to love it. Take a step. I, I still, <laughs> <laughs> and so each meal would be $1.50. Yeah, Heather so was when so I was trying to save yeah. a ton of money, Huel made a ton of sense. However, it doesn't taste that good. It tastes pretty bland. And if you're a Huel lover on there, my condolences. <laughs> uh, but I went to look at the bag because I've honestly been moving this little bag of Huel powder. <laughs> or, like it's a small child. Like yeah. it's constantly being yeah. shuffled around. And I said, Heather, you haven't paid the second price. I said, look, it's expired. Four months. I said, Heather, you're going to pay the second price. We're not throwing away <laughs> 70 bucks. <laughs> you could just be like me and skip breakfast. It's I healthy protein. and happy. It's not. <laughs> I love a protein shake in the morning. I, I love eating vitamin gummies. 
<laughs> you know, well, a lot of them. <laughs> if you're a doctor and you think Corey's ODing on vitamin gummies, please reach out. It's only that it gets me to come down do the eat? stairs. Okay, there's How many 10 do different How jars, many do and I eat three little gummies in each jar. Corey, who can afford Ollie gummies? Like that? <laughs> You were buying one, get one, and I want mock me well, of course, paying her second price. So look in your life. My call to action, my amazing grace, is what second prices haven't you paid? Because you either need the payments due. Payments due. And if you don't want to pay it, you don't get a complaint about heel it. Heal must be eaten. I had heal yesterday and the day over. And I'm going to have it tomorrow against my will. <laughs> and I will have my alley going. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that moves us on. We are um, just Amazing short on time. Amazing grace. Somebody said in a lot of altar calls these days. Because they have to deal with the book I'm currently reading. Uh, yeah, me too, guys. Me too. <laughs> uh-huh. I found, oh, that Happiness Lab is the podcast. Did that, I get to take my stress test? I was wondering. So that was actually a test. The stress test test. And I was wondering <laughs> if you actually were going to ask me before. Where is it? Upstairs. I want to dig out. You do? Who do I do? Can I do it here? Well, you can be in a cup. You can do it anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> you can do it in a cup. You have enough talent. <laughs> what do I do with that? You, you have to read the instructions. Can you do that part for me? You have to wake up. As soon as you wake up, you pee in a cup. Oh, no okay. supplements. No Ollie gummies. It said specifically. <laughs> if you like Ollie gummies, like Corey, please don't start. <laughs> then two hours later... Then right before dinner, then right before bed. There's this many cups? No, you, you, you clean it out. Where am I? In a, are you stressed right now? No. Do you know your stress level? No, they, they, they just texted me that they got the oh, thing. Okay. It sends so, out to a lab. I'm guessing you dip something in the... Yeah, paper. And then? It absorbs. And then? <laughs> you cannot touch it. You have to pack it away. You have to let it dry for 24 hours overnight. Where are you putting it to over dry? The bo- they came with a sleeve, and I hung it over the sleeve. I'm very clean. <laughs> I have children. Oh, yeah. You'd have to kind of keep it in the room. In my bathroom sink is tiny. I don't know how you're going to do it. You pee in a cup and then it tells you your cortisol. So. Rude about the test. It was a test test. Right. A stress test test. I know. Stressed by the stress test test. (laughs) Anyways, that happiness lab. It's by a Yale professor. And I think it's a pretty interesting perspective on stress and happiness and how the two relate and how counterintuitive everything it was they did a test on choices and how choices lead oh, to choices happiness. are so stressful right at the beginning of the day i'll make bazillion choices uh-huh. but at the end of the day i'll That's tell exactly. my son choice fatigue i'll tell my son go and raid the pantry i cannot think about it that's right how now. i can have a heel in the morning but if you ask me for a heel at 8 p.m i'm gonna be like heel no also, PSA, some of you aren't realizing that you have us on a faster speed than 1.0. No, please can I just, slow us can down. I just, someone was like, yeah, I didn't know they were on 1.3 times the speed. So I went in and changed it to normal. And they, this is the words they said. It was painfully <laughs> slow. Well, once you're accustomed. It's so funny. My aunt sees us often enough that when Corey and I mumble to each other, my mom was like, what did you guys say? And my aunt's like, unfortunately, I heard it. And I translated. <laughs> Corey told Heather to do the podcast by herself. <laughs> Heather said she didn't want to do it by herself. Uh, but so back to the happiness lab. Really highly recommend it. It's got a ton of ads. Uh, they really bully you into upgrading. I haven't yet. Uh, I know how to skip over them. Look One at minute and 30 seconds at the beginning. There you go. <laughs> yeah. So she had talked about, they had kind of an expensive store in California where you could go buy fancy jams. Okay. So they allowed people to come in and at the front was a table and it said, hey, if you test taste one of these jams, you get a coupon to go buy it for a dollar off in the nice. back of the store. Four jams. And oh, I really like uh, mango jam. And then you could go back and buy it. But not everybody was greeted with four jams. Some people were greeted with 28 jams. 28 jams? So you think 28 jams, you're going to find a exactly what you wanted for. I'm not even sure if I'm going to No, like. I think four, I'd find That's exactly so. what happened. So people who had fewer choices didn't feel as bad because they said, I only have four choices. I was like, yeah, I'm I gotta, not leaving anything. I got a 25% <laughs> shot to be happy. <laughs> yeah. People with 28 choices had decision fatigue and ended up making no decision at all. Now to correlate it to money. They had a company unveil retirement plans. Oh, the be- Even best. the worst retirement plan was still better than no retirement plan at all. True. And it was like, you know, company match. But when they offered them so many, a larger majority of people chose nothing. But they because said that was the had- worst option was yeah. just choosing nothing. But so, they were almost too paralyzed for it. Yeah. And they say the unfortunate part is the bias is we don't realize we're losing clients because we don't see that they've walked away. 
because we were just hitting them with so many. But I can do this and this. That's why I'm like, I offer one fluffy flavor. flavor. Apparently, cake. But <laughs> it's cake buttery and good, but it's yeah. vanilla. <laughs> the guy said, it's hard for a business owner to have one person come up to them and say, them, I just wish you had this other flavor. He's like, that's a visible yeah. loss of sales. I he see said, so many they, of our clients do that. They're like freak out when someone's it. like, uh, yeah, I wish you just had this one obscure flavor nobody yeah. would like. So he said, but what they're not seeing is how many people just never placed the order in the first place because you had too many options. Absolutely. He did this one really cool thing. He what? said, when I go out to eat, I actually say, no, I don't need a menu. Then I make all of my friends at five or six order in front of me, and I only choose from one of their selections. Smart. Mm-hmm. He said, I don't have any decision fatigue. I have something that somebody at the table recommended enough that they got it themselves. Yeah. And I just have a very simple, my menu is only five or six items. Me and Heather live this life. We can walk into a candy store, which we do to every candy store mm-hmm. we pass. And we go directly to these, they're called Sour little baby pacifiers. <laughs> they're like sour pressed sugar. But tiny little in the, the shape of to your tooth in there. <laughs> but we'll walk. There's no decision fatigue because if it's in there, that's what we will get. And I also that's what he said is when there's so many decisions, you end up doing the same thing over and over again. Yeah. Rather Other, than that, you know, out. when I go to a restaurant, I always get the same things. Corey and I are going to eat after our classes. We have two kind of larger classes on Saturday. Let's get something not typical. No, no. Last Corey, time I did, it messed me up. Come on, what the fuel? <laughs> I'll give you a glass of fuel. <laughs> Y'all. Y'all love it. <laughs> There's a lot of fuel puns here. <laughs> so anyways, I know we got on the... I'll get a different dessert. Wow, really? We uh, uh, really pushing yourself there. Twice. The raspberry canola. <laughs> okay, we have a Facebook Live coming up. Wow, that's uh, a, just an embrace of change. We were supposed to be talking okay, about... Okay, yeah. But, okay, yeah, I need to go. Listen, on. I've got to teach a lot. <laughs> You gotta be in a cup while you're I'm getting so into the whole conversation and choices. Do not choose any other podcast than this one. Okay, thanks. <laughs> there is no other choice. So you'll not be sad by staying here. Is this or the murder podcast, which you're gonna binge yeah. anyway? Uh, anyways, back to group stuff. We have a Facebook Live by me tonight, and Gina Marie Burke is coming up, and she's turning no into a yes. Now, she's taught a bunch of Facebook Lives, so I can comfortably say they're going to be solid. Solid. Um, she is one of the people who taught. Live on Mother's Day, which is wildly impressive. You want to catch up on that as we approach the holiday again. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then she taught a live on pop-ups, dual pop-ups. I'd never she heard did. of it before. It was so fantastic. If you scroll back, it's honestly really good if you want to get the most out of your pop-ups. And she's doing the, the second location. She does it for free. And you have to listen to find out how she does it. Mm-hmm. Jane Marie Burke, she's a really nice person. She has twins. Twins. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and she does uh, allergy-friendly because the kids are allergic. So that's how she got started in this whole thing. Yeah. Okay, moving along. We don't have a script this time. (laughs) Can you tell? (laughs) Yo. Uh, Sounds like they're sponsored by But sponsors, let's go through those. Okay. I will talk about Eddie. Okay, I'll talk about Cast Iron, who's doing... March, no, no commissions. Fees. March. March Madness, guys. They're mad. They're crazy. March Madness with money. M M M M M. What is Cast Iron? Cast Iron is a website platform. And like I said, if you had the first cost of, well, I bought my domain name, your second cost is the website. Bam. But for the month of March, there's no second cost if you use Cast Iron. Uh, Cast Iron is a e-commerce based website so people can purchase through that you can set it up for delivery and uh custom orders they have it outfitted for that uh their kind of concept is buy bakers for bakers like it's made on the delivery side you can choose the how like your radius and the zip codes you'll deliver to plus include the pricing so there's no awkward conversation when the customer's like can you deliver yeah in checkout you'll see where you can choose your and there's the charge associated with it yeah and in the month of march Make your biggest sales because you don't got to pay gas iron. Right? It's all going in your pocket. <laughs> right. I got to say, gas iron is pretty unique. One thing I see frustrating in the group a lot is people like, Square, it doesn't do everything 100% perfectly. Yes. Cast Iron says, hey, we're here to do that. So castiron.me is a website to get uh, started with that. And Emily in the group, if you add her in the comments, she magically appears to help you solve all yes. life's problems. It's my favorite thing to tag. I don't Emily leave Brungard. any contacts. I just give her a little hard back. <laughs> she does a great job of just appearing. Yeah, I need more Emily Brungard in my life. <laughs> okay, next up. We have Eduardo. Eduardo, now you busted out a cute little set with I Eddie. I did. I busted out a cute little set with Eddie right now at home. So we have class on Saturday. Today I made 22 
white eggs and I'm going to print them differently and give them as gifts on Saturday because we have classes on Saturday. I want them to see Eduardo and I want them to order custom cookies for me because of that. So it's cross promoting. So I'm super excited about Blessing on Eduardo. Eddie is too. Eddie is a food direct to food printer, uh, one of very few options, but he's the only one with the FDA. Will you give me that weird tray thing? I need to, please. The I want to do a mac. I want to do a macaron. Okay, okay. Show. That's not for Milton tray. That's one you have. That one you have to buy from Eddie. Give me that thing. Buy it from Eddie. Whatever macaron wants. Okay. Crazy, crazy. <laughs> and bakety bakes. I'm gonna let you take this one because you know more about burger. So Royal Batch is a meringue powder you just call made. Me? <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> hey, peach. Oh. Anyway, <laughs> Royal Batch is a meringue powder made by Bakety Bake. It is from a cookier over in Idaho. And she said, you what know you what? What did you just call me? <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Royal <laughs> Made by Bakety Bake over in Idaho. <laughs> and it is different than the typical... Powder. So here's what it's got in it. It already has white food coloring. Nice. You ain't got to add it. It already has vanilla. You ain't got to add it. It already has corn syrup. You ain't got to add it. You get to save that in your overall cost of ingredients because Royal Batch already has it in there. I have a dumb question. Yeah. If you don't add white food coloring, what color is it? It's an off-white and it turns egg yellow. <laughs> <laughs> it turns like a yellowish color. Oh, okay. So we want bright white. <laughs> And okay. you add white because it's stabilization, oh. and it makes it so color bleed is less likely to happen. A little bit of information. You can you. also add cream of tartar. I don't know why, but cream someone said do it, and I'm done with everything. Really? To help with color bleed. Corey was on a big launch of Sounds fighting fancy. color bleed. Yeah, it was so annoying. Now. I bought so much stuff. Um, anyways, you Cookie can get college. that. Yeah, I'll find you. I gotta man. take a shower so I can do this. Okay, life. join the cookie college. <laughs> <laughs> Why would somebody want to join the cookie college? Because <laughs> it's cool for you. <laughs> it's really cool. <laughs> You'll feel cool. <laughs> the cookie college is the paid membership. It is the first price, and it's full of second prices. That you want to hear more of me and other. Okay. That's where we hang out. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, we hang out there a ton, adding a ton of value because. In that group, I can truly dig into. Yesterday, I was talking about search engine optimization. Scared a few people. But Today, we got I had to posted it. the wrong screenshot, and I was lost. Yeah, you know what? <laughs> I didn't have a background. It was about password management. <laughs> true, and you true. know what? It is that your password is easily hackable. So use true. a password. Here, here's the end of the, Here's the class. I'm giving you one free. Okay. Co- cookie College class. It's last pass. Download it. There you go. That's the end of that class. But the Cookie College is if you are trying to grow your bakery, whether you're a home bakery, you're considering opening a LLC or you have a brick and mortar shop. This is for you to help you grow. It is for anyone, no matter if you're making drop cookies, custom sugar cookies like I do, macarons, things like that. You can sell brownies and cake pops too. I love cake pops. Mm. Don't know how to make them. Um, this is for you. It'll help be, make your business more efficient. It will help make your business stand out from the competition. It It'll will make your business gooder. You'll be gooder at it. It'll be good. It'll be a whole lot of a. It'll be a whole lot of work. <laughs> get through it. Um, but crazy March as well. Crazy Cra- more March, March Maddie. Is just wild. Just, I think people are coming out of the winter and they're like, you know what? It's Rules fine. to the wind. Yeah. Money uh, never hard work. <laughs> <laughs> Don't want to know anything about it. If you want to sign up for the year, the year. So that means you get the cookie college for a year. You get three months free. Now, here's what I'm going to say is a lot of the members who are in monthly have upgraded. And what that means. What that it means. What that they, means. They like us. They like the content there. And they're saying, hey, I'm probably going to end up paying for the year anyways monthly. Let me at least save three months of these payments because I'm here to learn. What is most encouraging to me? A lot of times, you know, you put your heart into something and then you put it out there and you hold your breath and you're wondering, will people like it as much as you like it? Um People are coming into the college, then maybe they have a slow month or they go on vacation, but they're signing back up. And that tells me that we are producing quality and value for these people so much so that they want to be a part of it. And it is encouraging me. So if you're in the cookie college, thank you so much. 530 people cannot be wrong. We'll be five <laughs> well enough. But here's what I want to do. And I talked to Corey about this. Maybe for the pun, maybe for the pun only, but we're going to celebrate 
spring break in the college. We're having we're a college. spring break in the college. And it's going to be in April. <laughs> if you're in, you can win. And we're just going to give away if some you're stuff. you're in, you can win. Yeah, but here's, here's, here's the sticking in the landing. You're going to win the That's four yeah. music for <laughs> <laughs> You get it. <laughs> and I don't have to. But we're calling it spring bake. Spring bake. <laughs> in the cookie college. So if you want to join today, if you want to join in March, you'll get that third month free you'll get the two months free up front then i just refund you one month and then you'll be entered in to spring bake in the cookie college where yeah. we're probably going to give away some uh months of the cookie college so it could be but you could be making ready <laughs> you could be making amy toothman you won the podcast sponsorship or sponsorship you won the podcast you won giveaway. the opportunity to pay <laughs> <laughs> you won the giveaway and you have not even able to get your your a core backer you are in the final person i was asked to reach out to you <laughs> maybe we're st- taking over the the airwaves <laughs> to get what do you want <laughs> oh yeah oh because we did the podcast giveaway yeah. so the, for april it's going to be fun i think we i'm going to make my peace with the heat sealers and give away some of those can I do one more uh call to action yeah if you are on Instagram, use the hashtag. This is the hashtag to use, sugar cookie marketing. I have liked every post under that hashtag. Wait, Note, are you saying that's free engagement if I just use a hash? Free engagement. You're guaranteed one like. Um, it's not hashtag sugar cookie marketing group. A lot of people are using that. All right, man. It's not hashtag sugar cookie marketing collab. We don't have one going. It's just hashtag sugar cookie marketing. And I check it multiple times a day. Um, so if you want to, an easy hashtag to use, that might guarantee some juice. Do that. Do that. Okay. I like it. I think we're missing some stuff. What's your Twinterest? Anything going on? My Twinterest. Anything. Hold on. Hold on. You go first and let me think. You go first. You go first. You. <laughs> The Nobel Prize of a four-month expired <laughs> heel. You, too, can have the worst meal of your life. Hold on. Hold on. At my goals yesterday, they had super cute little bags. You'll see them. Um, it was bunny bags, but the ears were the handle. handles. That was cute. So cute. That is cute. Okay, my honestly, you know you look at people and you're like, you're weird. How did you get so weird? I'll tell you. I am becoming weirder. You are. So there's a bag yes. tax in yeah. this county that I live in now. Not Five, my, it's not my cents. county, man. You have to self-report how many grocery bags you I took in Target. Targets is how many are you using? Yeah, and then <laughs> I was like, for some reason, if it had just been bundled pricing into the yeah. the whole thing, I probably wouldn't have noticed the ten cents. Are you self-checking out? Yeah, yeah. So you I have, have to, to self-report. So then I look around. This is genius. This is upselling. They have the ones, the reusable, reusable bags that you can purchase yeah. for the low, low price of probably a dollar. So I'd have to go ten bags yeah. to get one. So I got. I did upgrade. I did get a little spendy and got the three dollar. It you has a hard bring bottom. In with you, I've been carrying time. this thing like it's my baby. Everyone looks at me like, no, no, there ain't no bag <laughs> tax, yeah. In, and then my mom's like, where'd you get that? And I said, do you want oh. one? So now we. And Wait, then I'm just. Is carrying. it the tar- was it in the Target dollar section? No, it, I was in Walmart. Oh, okay. So it's one of those squares that I take for the cookie cutters. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. You weird. But I am carrying weird. that thing around. It once you realize that it's, then you're weird. And I'm walking in a Safeway with it. In, you gonna tackle in me. the county I live with, because not popular belief thinks me and Heather live together. I do not. <laughs> I don't have a bag tax, so I'm like, put each thing in its own bag. I want to watch the environment burn. <laughs> Just kidding. <don't> <laughs> people are going to be like, I heard on the podcast yeah, before you so boy on it. Uh, anyways, I'm very interested in reusable bags, especially with a hard bottom and a frame that doesn't collapse. Hard bottom? What did you say about me? <laughs> this is oh, a family oh, family. Oh, great. You, just, you said for I know. You always were. worse. Oh, boy. Nobody gets that joke because they never run it so out. much worse. I did use the Sweet Pink Olive airbrush. I love it. That's a random. Oh, yeah, because you, you got You just said one. it was a twin dress moment. You already had one. You just said the bunny ear bags. Oh, yeah. I forgot. <laughs> Start going back around again. <laughs> this is why we need a script. <laughs> I still feel like I'm missing something. We do not have a group collab. You did not check the mail. Voicemails. Voicemails. Okay, we'll do let's it circle back week. around. <laughs> okay, I gotta go shower. All right. Go you guys next week. You'll have a good one. <laughs>